Do you know Congressman Devin Nunes? Yes, I do. What's been your relationship with him? Uh, we don't have too much of a relationship. We met several times at the Trump Hotel, uh, uh, but our relationship started uh, getting basically where it expanded was uh, when uh, I was introduced uh, to his uh, uh, aide, Derek Harvey. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason why Derek Harvey was more of, the, I understood, I was told at that time was because Devin Nunez just had an ethics, something to do with the next ethics committee and he couldn't be in the spotlight. He was kind of shunned a little bit and that they was looking into this Ukraine stuff. Does it strike you as unusual or inappropriate that Devin Nunez would be one of the lead investigators into this scandal on the House Intelligence Committee? He's obviously the top Republican on that committee. I was in shock when I was watching the hearings and when I saw Devin Nunez sitting up there and then they, there was a picture where Derek Harvey was in back over there sitting. I texted my attorney and said, I can't believe this is happening. Because? Well, because uh, they were involved in getting all this stuff on Biden. Wow. Love Parn is telling Rachel Maddow last night that he had met re with Republican Congressman Devin Nunes a number of times. The ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee told Fox News last night that he now remembers speaking on the phone with indicted Giuliani associate Lev Parnas after previously claiming he couldn't recall having the conversation. Here he is first from December and then last night. Did you ever right, talk so, to this guy, Les Parnes, or whoever his name is? You know, it, it, it's possible, but I haven't gone through all my phone records. I don't really recall uh, no. that name. You know, I remember the name now because he's been indicted. I'll go back and check all my records, but it seems very unlikely that I would be taking calls from random people. Your phone number showed up with calls to him, to Lev Parnas, um, in, in a like list of data numbers and you said that you didn't recall uh, speaking with him um, or whether it was on your cell phone or your office phone. Have you have you figured out the answer to any of, the, of yeah, those questions? Yeah, and if, if, you, if you recall, that was brand new when that had come yeah. out when I came on your show That's because right. I, just did, I just didn't know the name, this name Parnas. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I always like to remind people is, you know, we are dealing with people every day. We're an oversight committee. So we have incoming calls that come to my office, to my cell phone, et cetera, et cetera. And then, sure. you, you know, you know now, that uh, he had called my cell phone, uh, and I didn't know his name, I didn't remember the name, but I did remember going back, looking at where I was at the time, because you know you can do that now, you actually know where you physically are, checked it with my records, right. and it was very clear, I remember, I remember that call, uh, which was very odd, random, talking about random things and I said great you know just talk to my staff and boom 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 and that's which is so there was no discussion about the procedure. about the Ukrainian ambassador there was no was there any discussion about the Ukrainian ambassador and the, the fact that she should be removed in that call well the first time I remember the name Yovanovitch the ambassador was not until this impeachment sham mm -hmm. started everybody has Devin Nunes yeah. cell phone number if you don't know him right of yeah Je have it. yeah, yeah. Jeremy Bash boom 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 just that's it it's done what's your gut <laughs> you know because now you can go back and figure out where you were i mean what right. is this guy talking about it um obviously the key question for devin nunez is if what the president did here was fine if it was upstanding if it was lawful why are you so eager to cover it up why are you lying about it in plain sight that's the question Oof. i think that needs to be posed directly to him Oof. So, I mean, Mika, let's just underline one more time. Devin Nunes was the ranking member of the Intelligence yes. Committee. He was running the Republican case in the impeachment this hearing, a guy who was at the middle of the case about which the narrative he was shaping from the very beginning of that hearing. It's astounding, as Lev Parnas said himself, that Devin Nunes, who was in the middle of the story, was the ranking member overseeing that hearing with Adam Schiff. I am just, there's not one way he didn't remember speaking to him. It's beyond inappropriate. It's incredible. Jeremy Batch, thank you very much. Coming up, we have a lot more to get to this morning, including impeachment. The House has sent the two articles of impeachment over to the Senate, setting up an historic trial, which is expected to get underway next week. Plus, the most talked about moment of this week's Democratic debate seemed to happen once the questioning was over. Now we know exactly what was said during that tense exchange between Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. We'll have that ahead on Morning Joe. 
Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.